I mean, it's six dollars and forty nine cents. Yeah, that's right. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wave Lady, and welcome to my channel. Well, today we are here at the Goodwill. Uh, we were on our way to Frederick, and I decided that I was going to stop in at the Thermont. Goodwill, which we don't come to very often. It's kind of smaller um, than the Frederick Goodwill, but we have had good luck here in the past. Um, I bought a bunch of little hens on nests and they sold very well. Um, so there is the opportunity to find good stuff here, even though it's a smaller Goodwill. We've got Juliet with us today. You can't really see her in the back seat. There she is. Um, she's off school this week for Christmas break and she begged to come with me. So Let's head in here and see what we can find that we can buy and float for a profit. Here we go. Looks like we've got the whole place to ourselves, sissy. What about that, huh? Let's look over here on this shelf. Might find some treasures here. This is $3.99. It's a stone little box. What do you think of that? Is that pretty? Yeah, you want to grab that? All right, let's put that in there. All right, let's see what else we can find. One of these little, oh, that one's actually quite pretty. It's got a little Asian characters on it. That back there looks interesting. Cracker Barrel, of course. Sizzy, look. I win the game. No? <laughs> All right, you see anything else on those shelves? What's this? TR Things Remembered. I've heard of that brand before. It's a little jewelry box. Alright, let's go to this shelf. Looks like we've got a clock here. Um, I think that's a plastic. Oh my gosh, look at the bird in the back. Uh, unfortunately, he's got a damaged beak. So that's a no. I have a giraffe down there. These are interesting little pieces. Five dollars and forty-nine cents. I wonder what the purpose of those are. They've got enamel handles. They're five dollars and fifty cents though, and I'm not really quite sure what their purpose is. They are neat. They've got dragons on them. Um, I think we'll grab them. Uh, for the, I feel like they have potential. Sissy, what do you think this is? You don't know. $5.50. <laughs> if you know what these are, please let us know in the comments. Baggie of figurines here. It looks like they're mostly precious moments and Nesco possibly. Some of them are plastic. Oh, let's go this way. There's little balls here. So, so you're still waking up from your nap? <laughs> Those are kind of neat looking, and there's a pair of them. I've got a marking there on the bottom of number, but I really love the color. So uh, we'll take those with us. This one is 27, and the other one is 14. Nice decorative pieces. It's getting ready to leave this aisle, and I notice these glasses here. They look to be vintage. Oh, they're Culver. Very nice, they're pineapple glasses. There is a set of four, and they are 99 cents. They appear to be in decent condition. Um, that satin finish always, always seems to be scuffed. But I don't think I've ever seen the pineapples before, so um, for 99 cents a piece, I'll take those. All right, well, let's check out these shelves. $7.50 on this blue piece. It's a nice shallow bowl. It doesn't appear that it's missing a lid because it's got kind of a scalloped edge. Ooh, that's really pretty, sis. Is that a shell? You like that one? You think we should buy that? All right. I really like that color. Is that what you like about it? Look right there. There's two. There's two. Check that out. Should we get both of them? Yeah. Maybe you can sell one and keep one by your bed. Right. 
here. This looks like it could be Ray Dunn. Where is Ray Dunn? Orison Collection by Magenta. I think well, one of the things the collectors look for is just the big M on the bottom. That's kind of a fun desk piece, though. It's keep, and it's got an eraser there, and then stash thumbtacks. So it's $3.50. I feel like we can make a little bit of money on that. I don't know if it's one of the more desirable pieces, but I'm guessing probably not. Oh, the cookie jar. That's neat looking, huh? Let's check out the bottom of it. I gotta take off his head. <laughs> and then we're gonna tip it over. Look at the bottom. This is from Target. It is a Target cookie jar, and they want $8.50 for it, so I think that's one we're probably gonna have to leave behind. Not this. $8.49. Mommy was rounding. Look at this, though. Maybe. It's got a chip there on the spout. That is a nice piece, but unfortunately there is damage. See anything else, sissy? No? All right, let's keep going. What did you find? That looks vintage, doesn't it? $4.50. Look, it's got Maggie's name on there. She made that in 1977. She did a nice job, didn't she? You like that one? I believe that's a nappy dish because it's got the little handle on it. We can get that. Four dollars and how many cents? Four dollars and forty-nine. Forty-nine cents. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Not fifty. Oh, with the ribbons. Yeah, I think those are more modern. So see, I don't think there's a whole bunch of value there. But look up here. Look at this piece. Look at that blue. Hmm? I like the blue. Yeah, that's pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Mimi has a piece like that. So this one looked like it could have been good because it's very thick glass, but um, I don't think it is. Julia is very smitten with this little Santa plate. Holly Hill, hand painted and hand wash only, made in China. Want to hold on to that till next Christmas since you love decorating for Christmas? All right. Now I did want to check out this over here. Let's see what that is. A hamster? Are you crazy? I found a hamster thing. That is interesting. It's a baseball dish. And it says Quan Quan on the back. Kind of reminded me of like an otikiri, but I don't believe, I don't think it is. It's Quan Quan. I think Quan. part of the hamster thing. Yes, that looks like a hamster house. <laughs> well, we usually find some goodies here in the wood section. That's nice. That's something Mimi would like, huh? I don't Should we get it? You know what? Mimi's got so much stuff, she's trying to get rid of stuff. Otherwise, I would say yes. This is a nice dish. That's carved. There's a few pieces here. What? J-U-L-I-E-T-T-E. That's good, sissy. All right. I kind of like the way those are carved. It's much more intricate than you usually find. Got a fish here. <laughs> You've got your Nintendo Switch in the car that you got for Christmas. I kind of like these bowls. Philippine monkey pod. Hmm. Um, how much are they? This one's two forty nine. I have to keep an eye on the prices when I come over the border to Maryland because they have a tendency to be a little bit more spendy than in Pennsylvania. <laughs> You're so so goofy. Looks like this uh, leaf is damaged, unfortunately. Um, kind of like, what is this one? Trainware, made in USA. Well, we like the made in USA. One looks like it's signed by somebody. And what did you just say to me? I see a mouse. Ah! <laughs> You're so silly. Do you want to get that for Thaddeus? Yeah. That's his favorite toy, huh? Yep. Your little cousin's favorite toy is these mice. There's two of them. Just make sure um, they're clicky, and we have to take the little ball out before we give it to him so he doesn't hurt himself. Where is the ball? This one doesn't have one, but that one has like a little compartment. We'll take the battery or whatever out of there before we give it to him. Wait. That was like old fashioned back when mommy was a little girl. They came with little balls in them. 
and you have to clean it. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, mommy's old. This piece right here is teak, and that one is from hey, Sweden. Yes, Juliet. <laughs> Did you find a giant lamp? Yeah. The lamp section? Yeah. <laughs> um, so I think we'll grab these guys. I think this is Monkey Pond. Made in Japan. Ugh, it's such a bummer that this one is broken, but I think we'll take these two as well. Look at that. I was not expecting a lot today, but Mom, I mean, we're doing all right. There's none of my <laughs> E.T., that's part of your name, isn't it? Yeah, but it's E.T. Like E.T.T.E. E.T.T.E. That's at the end of our name. It is. What do you think this one says? Made in... China. I don't know if it says China. I can't read it. Can you read that? Made in... You work on that while I keep looking. <laughs> well, I don't see any more teak or Swedish carved wood. So um, I think we're going to move on to go check out the lamps. Made in well? I don't know what that says, Julia. Made in... W, it looks like there's a, like, chai, a I right there. Maybe. W I think we're going to pass on it, though, because we can't make it out. So here are all the lamps. I don't think I've ever found anything outstanding here in the lamp, lamp department. This is kind of neat. That's a nice boudoir lamp. Definitely vintage. They would have had crystals hanging off of it, and uh, the crystals are unfortunately gone. So I was noticing this quilt over here. I suspect it could be made in China. They've got $17.49 on it. Do you see any tags on this, Juliet, besides that one? Uh, mm, it's got really a lot of, it's got damage, huh? Are you a fun sponge today? You're like, yeah, yeah, I'll take the job. It was hiding on the back shelf, and it caught my eye because it's got that tarnished silver on it. Um, it is an overlay, but it is silver, and it's also got like the boopy. I think this is boopy. I always get so confused. Um, between Candlewick and boopy. What are you doing throwing them on the ground, you silly goose? <laughs> so, um, I mean, it's $6.49. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But... That's not something I've ever seen before, and I just love the handles. So, what's your vote, sis? I don't know. You don't know? My vote's yes, so we will. So I was getting down there to the bottom shelf to look around a little bit more, and we found these. They are marked Rydell, signed on the bottom, um, and I'm going to show you comps here in a minute. All right, so the average seems to be about 50 and up for the ones with the stickers, the newer-looking ones, and then as you go up... I'm not finding any of the same shape. These are all sold listings, so these are what they have ab actually sold for. You always have to make sure you're looking at sold, otherwise um, you're going to get yourself in trouble. What was that? I don't know, something in our cart just jumped. But it was funny because I did notice this, and this reminds me of a piece I saw at Goodwill um, not too long ago, and I passed on it. It sold for $170, so what I thought looked maybe like a urinal, I probably should have taken a closer look at. <laughs> 155 so um, I think those are good pieces they are etched on the bottom I'm not finding the same form but I think because they're etched um, and they're only I think three or four bucks uh, we will grab those this down here that looks like it could be um, elegant glass and you know what else is really pretty sissy look at this one I was looking at this one earlier you were looking at that one yeah look how pretty it is it is very pretty it's $3.49. I think it's a reverse painted if it was um, real glass. It's called a brandy snifter. Mommy collects those. We have a lot of them at home, don't we? Yeah. You like it? Oops. Yep. All right. It can go in the cart. <laughs> Unfortunately, there is only one of those. I think I'm going to leave that one behind. Um, I really love these. Alvin Crystal, made in West Germany. Uh, kind of a black glass. Doing a good job. I should just let you do all the work, huh? Mm -hmm. No? <laughs> mm -hmm. Got it? Alright, well our total spend there was uh, $100. <laughs> yeah. um, it was actually $101, but I feel like we got some really good stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah.
You excited with everything we got? I think we're going to do pretty well with it. Um, we are going to get out of here now. We're going to head on down the road. And uh, we will see you there. Well, Juliet and I just arrived at a new-to-us Goodwill. We are in Hagerstown. Um, I believe this is the South Goodwill. Um, there are two Goodwills here in Hagerstown. I'm hoping to go to the other one, but I don't know what time they close. Um, but we will find out right after we head in here and see what we can find that we can buy and float for a profit. Here we go. So here is the houseware section. It is in the very, very back of the store. Uh, we've got a few aisles, though, so we're going to see what we can find. So right off the bat, I am the winner. I just want to point that out. I found the praying hands. I found some <laughs> oh, you <laughs> those don't count. <laughs> Look at these. Those might be like a half a point. All right, let's see what we can find. They've got figurines here on the shelf. Um, they're adorable, but I don't know. I don't see very much resale value in those. So this aisle here appears to be vases and mugs. Um, so this little angel definitely caught my eye. It kind of reminded me of a piece that we picked up at the Hoarder House that was California pottery, but this isn't. Um, it's got chips on it, and that vase was kind of interesting, but I don't think it's anything very special. Got lots of vases here, an art glass vase, but this looks like something that was probably made in China. Got lots of flowers here and um, I don't see very much in the mugs. This is an interesting mug. I like that one with the bird on it. <laughs> this is, you have one just like that that you got with your hot cocoa kit. You silly goose. What about this one though? That's a really neat pelican mug. That's three dollars. There is Sissy getting some exercise working off her Quiznos because she had Quiznos for dinner. And then check out this aisle here. They've got lots of plates, little cups and saucers. Um, that's kind of a neat pattern. That is not marked. But I like the little roosters on that. Back here we've got another one. I just saw a candlestick that matched these at the other Goodwill. I feel like every time I come across this, it's always missing its lid. I don't think I've ever found it with a lid. I know, you bit the inside, she bit the inside of her mouth. Um, this right here is a nice piece. It doesn't have a terribly high resale value. They have $4 on it. It's probably worth 15 to 20 bucks. Um, yeah, look at you. Down here we have this really nice cookie jar, but I can actually see there under the lid where there is damage. It looks like there was a chip. They it. might have tried to cover it up. It didn't work though. We were too smart, weren't we? <laughs> That's a uh, sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like the cookware and some tumblers. So I'm going to skip this aisle. Here we've got the holiday section. So they've got some Christmas stuff here. Oh, they have a Nerf gun. Uh, they, oh, look at this. We've got nutcrackers, <laughs> worms. That's kind of cute. Um, that is Nanette something. Yes. A zombie. Oh, that's creepy. Look what else is next to him, though. Look at this. That's neat. It's a souvenir piece for Puerto Rico. Um, the zombie is pretty cool, Juliet. Forever Collectibles, NFL. Oh, it's for the Chicago Bears. I see. <laughs> like, what does that have to do with the NFL? I just didn't read the shirt. Um, over here, I like this one. And uh, I don't know anything about Nutcrackers, honestly, but this is Nanette something. So it's signed on the bottom. This little collection uh, here, that is just Nutcracker distributed by CVS. I'd say this one's probably the same. This guy back here is not a toy. You found an owl, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, made in China, and I don't really think this guy is all that great. He's also made in China, so there you go. We're going to leave those Nutcrackers behind, but we're going to pick up the one because it's like kitschy. It's interesting. It's Fisher. Fisherman guy. All right. Well, I think that's really it. Yeah, that's pretty. It's plastic though. Um, over here. Yep, that's it. Okay. Well, that goodwill 
was kind of small. There wasn't a whole lot of stuff on the shelves. We didn't have the best of luck. I think our total spend was, I want to say like eight bucks. Maybe. I got a Nintendo Switch. You did, but you did not get that. Oh, you got that for Christmas, not at Google. Oops. Whoa! Um, well, that was it for the Nintendo Switch. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day, and I've posted a link to that down in the description.